Most mushroom growers are really familiar with mushroom grain spawn, but what they often don't realize is that it comes from liquid culture, one of the earliest parts in the mushroom cultivation chain. And this is liquid culture. It is just a nutrient broth with mycelium living inside it. And it's what we use to inoculate our grain spawn. And this is the mushroom cultivation chain. First things first, we have liquid culture, where we've taken a mycelium sample and added it to our nutrient broth. Once that's ready, we then inject it into sterile grain to make grain spawn. Once our grain spawn is fully colonized, we'll take that and add it to a sterile substrate. This substrate, once fully colonized, and if given the correct conditions, will produce the perfect mushrooms for harvest. Although this liquid culture right here has mycelium in it, you can also get liquid culture with spores in it. However, there are advantages and disadvantages to each. If you have spore-based liquid culture, then you'll get much longer storage times. However, if you have mycelium-based liquid culture, you can ensure a higher rate of success and faster inoculation. The liquid part of liquid culture is essentially just a nutrient broth and normally very high energy containing lots of sugar. Some of the most common ingredients that you might use in your liquid culture blend are nutritional yeast, light malt extract, and dextrose. However, there's a host of other ingredients you could use too, such as honey. Liquid culture is actually surprisingly easy to use. Most people use it to inoculate grain to make grain spawn, and this is a very simple process. What you need to do is get your chosen grain, such as rye or millet, sterilize it, and then simply squirt it in. It's that easy. However, it's very important to remember to have good hygiene practices. For example, wiping the top of your, your grain jar with alcohol, flaming the end of your needle if you're repeatedly using it, and if you can, doing it in front of a flow hood. Once you've added liquid culture to your grain spawn, incubate it at 20 to 22 degrees. After about a week, it should look like this. And after three to four weeks, it should look like this. And this is a fully colonized bag of grain spawn. So if you have a little bit of experience with mushroom cultivation, are looking for a new challenge, or trying to find ways to save a few quid in your cultivation journey, then liquid culture is for you. As well as that, there's a whole host of varieties available to try out there. So why not give it a go and check out the Urban Farm at website.